Hey you guys, it's Peter and Pee Pee and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. I hit Pee Pee Loss's hat. Oh my God. I lost, I hit 5,000 subscribers. Oh my God, you guys, I about died. Thank you so much. I have, oh my God, this has just been like such a crazy, what a slow, strange trip it's been. Anyway, I have had such a crazy time on booktube so far. I have loved it. And I know as of recently, I have not done as much on here as I have previously. I don't care, I still love this channel. It is my heart and soul. I love it so much and it has just been so, so exciting. I have some really exciting things planned in the next couple months on booktube um, when my schedule frees up a little bit. A lot of things that people don't know is that I have a book in the works, my second book, um, and I have been diligently working on that. Um, I also have another channel um, just called Peter Mon. It's linked below. Go follow it. It's really funny. <laughs> and so I've been doing stuff on there and um, some business opportunities have opened as a result of that. And just we're traveling and it's just been crazy. So um, yeah, that's it. But I have lots of plans for this channel. So I'm so excited. So anyway, first of all, I wanted to say that I did a giveaway. <laughs> I'm horrible at these giveaways, you guys. I did a giveaway uh, about a month ago or two or three weeks ago, and it was for my summer and winter books. If you guys didn't watch that video, it's below, so go watch it. <gasps> Robot. And it's about the children's books, Summer and Winter, which are my two favorite summer books. Well, summer's my favorite children's book, but winter, not so much. But anyway, I did a giveaway, and I never came on here and talked about who was the winner of that giveaway. So I had screenshot it, and I wanted to tell you that the winner is dun dun dun, and I will contact her. But if she's watching this video, then she'll find out. It is Emily Donahue, and I said on there, "What is your favorite summer book, and what is your favorite winter book?" And she said, "Aristotle and Dante for summer, and a Twilight Saga for winter. So many memories." And what you had to do was you had to pick two books that I had already read. So those that were my favorites for those as well. She hit those. So Emily, congratulations. You have won the two children's books, Winter and Summer. I will be contacting her and then she can give me your information and I will mail those off to her. But I haven't really done giveaways on this channel when I've hit certain subscriber numbers just because I'm like, do people really care? I mean, do people really do that? Is it really that big of a deal? Anyway, so I thought, well, 5,000 is kind of a big deal. And I actually just looked and I'm at 5,205. <gasps> so anyway, I'm like, oh my God, like that's a lot of people that like to know what I read. Anyway, so I thought, okay, screw it. I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, a lot of people have asked me like, are you going to do a giveaway when you hit 500? Are you going to do a giveaway when you hit 1,000? Are you going to do it? So I thought 5,000 is a good number to do a giveaway, right? I mean, what do you give with 5,000? I don't have a lot of money, so it's not like you're going to get a car. I mean, it's not like you're going to get a Rolex. It's not like you're going to get PP because I'm not giving PP away. Um, and I'm sure shit not giving away his little cowboy hat. How do you do? So anyway, I thought, well, what could I give? And um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of put together a care package. And the care package that I am going to going to, to give it will include an autographed copy of my novel, the before, now, and after then, with lots of swag like pins for your uh, denim jacket and bookmarks and stuff like that that go along with the book. I am also going to pick my favorite book that I have read in the last year. Okay. And I'm writing it down right now. I'm going to write down here so you guys can't try to copy. Eyes on your own papers. Okay. I added some squibbles so you guys can't figure it out. Okay. So I have it listed on this pad right here. You see PP? Okay. PP sees it so he knows I'm not cheating. And I'm going to write down the date. And today's date is... 11-19. I am going to give a week. So next Black Friday, which will be the day after Thanksgiving. Oh no, 
That'll be Saturday. On Saturday, I will announce the winner of my $5,000 giveaway. And what that will include is my novel, plus lots of swag and autograph version. I will also be buying my favorite book that I've read in the last year, which is not necessarily the book that came out in the last year, but it is my favorite book that I've read in the last year, okay? And then I'm just gonna get some bookish swag stuff. Like, I don't know, fun stuff that I find at half price books, some kind of funny stuff that speaks of me, all that kind of stuff. You may even get an autographed picture of Peter Likes Books. <laughs> anyway, would that be so funny? Who knows, maybe my favorite chapstick, some gummy worms. Who knows, lots of fun stuff. So you get a whole care package, okay? Valued at priceless. Cause I mean, who wouldn't want a care package from Peter Mott? Nobody, probably. So anyway, this is all you have to do, okay? Um, first of all, I am making this giveaway exclusive to the United States. You guys, I just, it is so expensive to send something out of the country. And um, I apologize to anybody internationally. I love you as well. It's just very expensive. Um, so what I will do is make it the United States only. You have to have put your answer down by next Saturday or next Friday night at 11.59 p.m. So before it turns over to Saturday, you have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to like this video. And all you have to do is comment below on one book um, that you know was one of my favorite books in the last year that I read. So put down, um, or let's, let's even spread it further so we can get a lot of mixed answers. Let's say the last two years. Uh, in the last two years, what are... What is one of my favorite books? And I don't, you, you don't have to put them there. Oh my God, I would love to win this contest so much. This would be the greatest thing in my entire life if I won the contest, blah, 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 blah. All you need to do, and I'm gonna try to think of a book that I haven't read in the last year, okay? To Kill a Mockingbird. So all you have to do is just write like, To Kill a Mockingbird, okay? If you think that's the answer. And whatever I answer, I wrote on this piece of paper, is the answer, okay? This is my favorite book that I read in the last two years. Got it? Okay. And um, so, Write that down. I've said on here, if you watch my videos, so don't go back and try to find them. I've, I've said on here that I have lots of favorites. Like probably many, many times I said, oh, this is my favorite book. Oh, this is my favorite book I've read. Oh, this is my favorite book. So this is true, legit. I mean, if, if you came up to me in the street and you said, what's the best book you've read in the last year? I'd say this is it, okay? So here it is. Write it down below, just write the title. And if you live in the United States and you pick the right title and you're the first one to pick the title and you're subscribed to my channel and you like this video, then you will win and I will let you know next Saturday who it is. So anyway, thank you so much for following my channel. I hope you are doing the Salinger, which I'm gonna report on at the end of the month, all four books. The Salinger Read Along with Graham and I at Mega Man Chief Fan. Please go follow Graham's channel, it's awesome. And uh, we, he is also doing Gobblethon, which starts, I think, tomorrow. Oh my God, I gotta get my books ready. I haven't got my books ready yet for Gobblethon. So yeah, so go get those books ready and figure out what you're gonna read. Gobblethon is over on Graham's channel. I will link his channel below. Um, I love him so much. He's such a cool kid. He reads the best books in the world and is always making recommendations to me about what to read. So anyway, thank you guys again for helping me get to this point on BookTube. It is awesome. It's like. It's weird. It feels like total, like, I'm, hey, I'm part of the group now. So anyway, I love it so much. And, um, you know, when I started this channel, I didn't really honestly care if I had 50 subscribers or 50,000 subscribers. I mean, like, who, we'd all love 50,000 subscribers. If you, if you say that that's not the case, you're a liar. But anyway, I mean, we just would. But I really didn't. I just love the BookTube community. And now being a member of another part of YouTube, it's like where people are consumed with views and subscribers and all that stuff and meanness. We are so, so, uh, we should be so grateful for being in such a cool community like BookTube that a lot of people don't even know exists. So thank you so much for welcoming and allowing me to be such a, a part of this community that I find so awesome. I mean, where in the world are there so many people that love books in one place? I just think it's the coolest thing in the entire world and I wish we could all meet together in a room. Oh, you did at Y'all Fest last weekend and I didn't get to go, so, because I'm poor as a church mouse. Anyway, I love you guys. Follow me on all my social media. It's linked below. I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.